Hello, tacticians and strategists, fleet commanders and viper pilots. Welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and playing hardball and a risky mission around Helios Gamma. Most likely quite risky with Albina because this is again a nearly all out rookie fleet that we have. I mean, we do have one Artemis Battlestar at our disposal, fortunately. However, all green guys and gals in there. Same goes for just one frigate and otherwise we have kind of accumulated all the manticores. I mean, some of them were actually rewards from other missions. But I feel, I feel it's quite risky. But I also feel we should not postpone it because uh, the, this will unsettle people. Yeah, so let's just do it and then we get it over with. Let's proceed. And also, I think we've never had such a fleet ourselves with so many manticores. So let's see what we can do here. Poor rookies. Let's see what's happening. Oh, oh, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ships. Hmm. And that's actually an interesting station over there. Okay. And we have quite the green planet. Where are we actually? I forgot. But that is actually quite interesting here. An interesting sp part of space we've never... Have we ever have we ever been here? Yeah, I mean, surely we've been here, but I don't recall. But let's have a closer look later on. So, we do have... And that's the good news. One elite Jaguar. And you are there. And I want you... Yeah, and I feel we should actually... Yeah, we should use armor piercers here. But possibly not with the Jaguar, because the Jaguar needs to do the identification thing while the others stay back and just shoot missiles, I think. So you go here, and then we go here. Yeah, we can actually have the frigate in a sandwich formation, and then let's have a quad, quad burger with the remaining Manticores, the Montpellier, which is experience, yeah. So I hope the our veterans and experienced soldiers are giving some advice to all the rookies and that the rookies are wise enough to heed this advice. Oh, and there we have, let's have Mark Vipers Mark II. Yeah, but that's basically all that we can do here. Um, And I think let's have yeah, let's have the Montpellier use the armor piercers. And then we'll have one fleet salvo. We will we are going to shoot only a fleet salvo at any given ship. So and the but the good news is that we can actually relatively quickly uh, run away like scared rabbits but yeah fleet group well, is jumping in three two one that's thanatos okay thanks helena jumping in oh i love it very precise jump excellent well done Dratus all contact. hands on deck all marks are hostile okay good then we don't need to worry about any civilians getting in the way Identifying. Yeah, well, so let's have a look over here. What is that? That's actually quite an interesting station here. Built into several asteroids there. That's actually pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool indeed. So then should we fly to these asteroids i think they are actually too far away we would we would uh, get away too far yeah let's actually but but let's fly like this on a commander. 
Focusing fire, maybe we get a shot off, but I don't think so. What's our range here now? Unless they boost in here, which is quite possible on the other end. Okay, well. Then you guys turn around. I need to go low. You also. So say we all. And you two launch all your squadrons. Launching fighters. And then we just watch the beautiful scenery with our ships maneuvering. Aha, it's a tailing down there. Okay, that's actually good news. Because they won't have us identified. Oh no, it's a revenant. Oh well, revenant. Uh, an arachne would have been nasty. Okay, then manticore. Is anybody shooting? No. Okay then. You two. Let's go on the attack. Like this. You four also all energy to the weapon systems. Going like so. Manticore. Yeah, well, ideally we would identify someone, but uh, yeah, let's fly like this. Maybe this guy. Well, this one is flying. We know that it's flying like into this direction. Let's just fly here. Next turn we can uh, switch to attack mode. They have one radar squadron there, our three. Rally point close to the Montpil uh, to the Jaguar. Yeah, and then you four. You're shooting your missiles at the Revenant. And you two do the same. What is happening? Ah, oh, it's because of the Vipers. No. Shooting the missiles. There. And all Vipers. Move it here. I doubt that they have identified us. Which is our big advantage right now. So let's go. Ending the turn. All missiles away. No. Yes, good. Ah, good, all right. Okay, now you, Manticore. All energy to the weapon stations. You so fly a little are. bit. Yeah, we learned from our mistakes. You shoot at the radar. Oh, they have lots of radars. And you shoot some missiles at this one as well. Ah, well, that actually doesn't look so good. But we do have... Our F turrets. So I guess we should definitely keep these guys here boosting. Like that. Yeah. Both of them boost. Going low. Well, actually, it's not so bad with the Manticores because they should be able to use their F turrets. Nice yes, Commander. Enough. And then you guys you fly like here, like that. So there we go. Ending the turn. Good. Some additional missiles at the Revenant. Oh, there is someone. Oh, they identified us. I don't know how they identified us. But they did. Hmm. This one. Okay, well. So I guess... We have even more problems now. So you guys fly like there. One squadron flies around. 
the others follow up like here you guys fly low shoot at the radars the other manticores let themselves fall back a bit on it commander and also shoot at them so what is the what is the range here our range yeah actually i think we will be able to shoot at them that's good but that was just the one pillier and our rookies yeah should also be able to shoot okay that's good that's actually pretty good you guys keep boosting Yeah, well, ending the turn. Come on, shoot at the raiders there. Yeah, they are good. Sniping them. They are good. One is down. Very good. They are actually shooting at us already. Were, were they really so quick? But well. Then. You fly forward like so, going low, all of you guys. Let yourselves fall back some more, shooting at them. And you too, go defensive. And it's the Jaguar. Yeah, well, we got shot in the rear already. These guys, they are shooting at us. Uh, or are they? Yeah, they must be, right? Yeah, no, I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. Well, you guys, go for this Squadron one. Target is confirmed. It's a bit bad, but I think are they actually? They might even break off and attack us there, which is actually not so good. But we need to identify this guy. And actually, I think we need to turn around and help out like this. Focusing fire. This could get really messy, but oh yeah, nice, our missiles, and we even have another hit here. Very nice indeed, the Revenant is about to explode. The Revenant maneuvered very, very badly here, and well, now it is surely on its way to toaster hell, isn't it? Then. guys fly just fly like this ending the turn missiles incoming yep they are breaking off to IFF engage our guys okay that's hostile. not so good okay that's not so good are they messing us up now oh no and now we have three of them okay well you guys break off Move it at full speed. But we have destroyed the radar squadron over here. And these guys here, they are there. Okay. You. All energy to the thrusters. Understood. Coming about. Can we actually shoot some more missiles now? Oh, yes, we can with you guys as well oh that's good okay so then let's form up yeah now that's a horrible thing to do let's try like here like so and you oh well let's actually let's shoot right now nemesis and i'd like yeah, we are shooting the armor piercers as well, so they are firing. And it looks like the others are not missile capable. So you two help out and move there. 
although it's actually a bad idea. What I want to do is actually that our vipers are flying like around here and we are meeting them. But maybe we can distract these guys a bit. So let's see. Ending the turn. Our missiles are on the way. It is Oh, come on! Oh well, only one. <laughs> okay. Well, 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 well. That's less than ideal. Are you guys? You are. Oh yeah, you are okay, more or less at least. So then you move it. Move it there. You guys come back home. Like here. Yeah, well, it had to be done. Was dangerous, of course. Yeah, now our our whole formation is messed up. Everybody's shaken up and confused. This shouldn't have happened. Commander, we don't know what happened. Yeah, don't worry, guys. You are just rookies. And if there's a way that you can shoot your own ships, I'm sure you can. You will find it. So you're going to find the way. Then yes, sir. let's fly like so. That's also one of Space Murphy's laws. Let's send some more missiles over there with this salvo. And you guys, yeah, you are just flying like this. There. There's a Talon coming after us. Maybe we should actually focus fire there. So like this, yeah, ending the turn, well, it was also a rather close one, oh, and a double close one, but well, very good, that looks actually pretty good, yeah, you guys, you are, you are actually doing well, and now actually our vipers are the bait, I didn't expect that one. So you guys are just flying like here. Well, you guys prepare your broadsides. Yeah. Let's boost now. We need a little bit of distance. Yeah, or maybe actually we should fly like so. A bit towards them. I think they are rather far off. Okay, that's good. So, and then... You guys fly like here, like this, and you boost there, like so. And let's see what our missiles are doing. Ending the turn. Yeah, that looks good. That looks pretty good. Very good. Nemesis has been neutralized. Repeat, Nemesis threat has been neutralized. Very good. Very good indeed. And now we are actually leading them into a trap. Preparing broadsides, targeting Raider Squadron in pursuit of our Vipers. So say we all. Coming around. guys using forward cannons and you as well and yeah let's just for a moment become become part of the formation here like so focus fire while you guys move it towards the ships like here like there, yeah, that's good. And you lead them straight into our fire. There. They should actually adapt their course like that probably. But we'll see. Okay then, so and then. Turret range. Yeah, looks actually pretty good. 
So, although like on this distance we will not shoot them much, but better than nothing. And yeah, so let's go. Ending the turn. And uh, we have one more turn for the next missile salvo, by the way. No, two more turns. No. And that one will go into the tailing over there. So, ending the turn. There, yeah, very nice. We, we are not shooting. Yeah, there, yeah, there. Very good. Oh, yeah, they are, they are very good. Radars are in range. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. And now, all Vipers. Oh, well, actually, like you two Vipers, you can attack this squadron. And you Vipers, take that one. Squadron target is confirmed. <laughs> Excuse me, just a little sneeze. You fly like so. Understood. Hope this Talon is not getting into range too quickly. And then you four. Minus the Vipers. Yeah, you can actually let's shoot them, actually. The others have been weakened, which is good. Going like so, and you two also shoot them. Because our Vipers will engage these here. There, good. And we could actually even, uh, well, let's Let's activate our flag on the right. There. Looks kind of bigger on the left side. Is it really? It looks a little bit smaller. No, I think it's just... It's just... Uh, just looked like that. So. Then, yeah. Then we can go ahead, you can see I'm more like that. There, very good. Ending the turn. Oh, are you guys flying through the flag cloud now? I hope not. Yeah, you, you are flying over it. Okay, good. These guys are flying straight into the flag. Excellent. And gone and done. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, very good. However, oh yeah, these guys, they are firing at us now. Okay, so all Manticores turning around like so. Shooting with the F turrets at that one. All Vipers engage the Raiders and you two fire at them. And sorry, the meat is. Eh, sorry. Deactivate the flag. And we are just flying like so. And shoot them, I hope. And come around like this as well. So, that should be okay. And with our F turrets, we are pounding the tail in there. We're not shooting any missiles right now. But it is, well, I guess there are revenants over there. So let's see, ending the turn. They are good. But they don't seem to have any more missile capability. There you go. Okay, good. Bypass are on their way. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. So, you guys are like rather the upper four ones. You are quick enough. Fly yes, straight Commander. ahead like so. F turret still pounding the tail in. The Jaguar is activating the radar. Like on it, Commander. Also using F turrets on that one. Artemis is boosting. Like there, and the adamant is also boosting. Yes, Commander. Um. Well, or actually, we probably shouldn't boost. 
but rather you guys go for this one. You guys go for that one and the Jaguar. Well, can actually identify all of these anyway. So let's have you guys fly towards that one. And you two are actually attacking this Understood. one here. And we are going to shoot all our missiles. And this Talon. And the Adamant. It's actually, yeah. Well, it's the typical thing here, right? Are we shooting ourselves again? We are kind of, yeah. No. We, we are boosting. We are boosting, we need the distance. On it, Commander. But, but we are shooting our missiles here, the few that we can actually manage. So, and we are all using our batteries to shoot at the Talon. So, ending the turn. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Yeah, they are revenants, but they are okay. Yeah. Very good, all in the front, very good. Talon is down, very good. No immediate threat. Now the Artemis needs to continue boosting. Adamant, a boost as well, but stays one line here, you guys. Do you really need to boost? Uh, someone is shooting at you. Or is someone shooting? Well, that was the Talon here. All Vipers, attack the rear tail. Yes, sir. Manticore. F turrets, shoot at the Revenant. You guys. Yeah, you actually you boost. Like that. There. But rear turrets, shoot at the Revenant as well. We need to do something about this Revenant, though. But yeah, well, we were one turn too late to identify them, and I wanted the missiles uh, on the way. So let's see, ending the turn. There you go. Talon is exploding. Revenants are concentrated on our Vipers. But are following our fleet. Artemis still boosting ahead. Let's continue to do that. You guys fly like here. You. All energy to the weapon systems. So say Doing we all. A bit are. lower. Still. Focusing there. Now you guys, yeah, you can actually do the same again. Yeah, and they have identified us, of course. But well, let's see how that goes. And well, they are, now they are just not in range. Can we actually see this? Like with this one? No. I'd love to know the range, but well, so ending the turn. Yeah, they're just shooting at the Vipers there, and we are not shooting, okay. We are not shooting. Oh, one shot came there, okay, well, Artemis, missiles are ready. One more turn for the next salvo. Yeah, this is bad. So understood. Like so. That is actually let's fly a bit closer there. Or maybe not too much though. this 
focusing fire there. You guys. Right there like this. Also focus fire. Softening them up possibly. Yeah. The vipers are more uh, annoying them than anything else. But they don't have any elites around. Uh, no, okay. Good. Yeah, but it's uh, it's it's going okay so far. And in the general, we need to be very careful, of course. Yep, they are shooting at us, missing us now. Oh, they are shoot. Oh, oh, they are shooting the Artemis. Oh, 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 and they are shooting the Artemis some more. Oh, 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 oh. But now, all of us shoot missiles at the Revenant. Adamant. Staying like so. Yes, sir. Oh, actually, let's yeah, let's have them cross the T. Actually, like this. You guys, I like so. So say we all. To mess them up quickly. Yes, Commander. All of you, punch them. Ending the turn. Yeah. Oh, why that long angle? Oh, come on, why is that happening? But well, so. All is down. God. But well, yeah, that's. Uh, that is the Space Murphy's thing. On it, Commander. Then, yeah, well. Uh, the Vipers are working on the Talon nicely enough. And the Artemis, yeah, it is it is dangerous now. So let's fly like this. Yeah, we were too close together. So they, I, so I think I really are. think that uh, the Manticores they have a longer angle, a way longer angle angle actually. And you guys, you are actually going defensive here. Does that mean that we can not shoot them anymore? Yeah, we can. Okay, good. Because the Manticores should be enough together with these missiles to explode the Revenant. We just need some more distance to the, between the ships, I think. So like this. Then. Ending the turn. Yeah, good. Revenant is down. Very good. Their second revenant, or rather third revenant, is not in range yet. Our left side is messed up. Let's boost forward a bit. Yes, Commander. Yeah, your right is also messed up now. But let's boost away as well. On it, Commander. Like so. You guys are our main damage dealers right now, focusing fire. Coming down like this. And you Manticore as well. All in one line like so. Yeah, so the thing is... Focusing fire there. So, are you guys done with the tail or no? And the tail is not to be uh, underestimated. They do have some good firepower there, as we know, right? The front is done, okay. Because they do have three medium guns, and if they pitch around, they can actually shoot with the others as, as well, I think. So, let's do this. One more turn for the battle star to shoot missiles, and I think we are not waiting for the fleet. So, ending the turn. But they are shooting at us. But we are bracing for impact. Uh, no, we are boosting actually. But the fire oh, yeah, well, is so taking damage. It's more like rain on them. Oh, and the rear is already open. Okay, well, that means we need to turn around. Doesn't help. They are yes, actually Commander. pounding our yeah, repair navigation, Commander. guys. 
Focus Fire, Shooting Missiles, Adamant, All Energy to the Weapon Systems, Turning Left, Present, yes, Unscathed, Left Side, Focus Fire, All Manticores, F Turrets, Keep on Target, Manticore, Jaguar, do the same. Are you actually in range? Yes, we are. If only barely, but these guys are also shooting at us, but we are okay so far. We are fine. Do it like this, but let's go a bit low. So there you go. And, well, you guys could actually speed up the process of exploding this tail in a bit so you can help out in the front. So, ending the turn. Artemis is taking damage. Yeah. Okay, good. Talon is down now. Fire on the Revenant. Yeah, good. Okay, good. We are messed up. The Artemis is a bit messed up now. But now we have missiles. So let's shoot. The missiles are they are nearly now are they really done? Let's shoot the missiles. At the Talon. Well we focus there. You guys shoot missiles at the Talon as well. Focus on the Revenant. Adamant. Missiles on the Talon. Fire on the Revenant. Artemis, yeah, can only remain here and shoot the right. Yes, sir. Focus fire. Let's hope they're not exploding us here. This is actually more dangerous than it looks. While you guys, you attack this Talon. Squadron target is confirmed. Ending the turn. Come on, guys. Give them all we have. Artemis come on, come on, damage. come on, come on. Yes, good. Artemis. And don't shoot the Artemis. Oh, that was another very close one. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, left, right. Yeah, it's fine. But it's fine now. Now it's fine. We're presenting the front yes, to this guy. Focusing fire with the Metis. This Adamant. There, all the missiles are coming in now. That should be enough. You guys fire at this one. The, why are the Manticores so dirty? And shot up. Ah, I think it's also like the exhaust fumes from the missiles. That's the thing probably, huh? Well, you guys shoot at them as well. Pretty good job with the aft uh, uh, cannons, by the way, in my opinion. Guys fly like so. Yeah, and then the quest question is if the uh, Metis can actually explode the Talon together with all these missiles, but I guess it should be possible. So let's see, end the turn. There, yeah, looks good. Yeah, good, 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 good. Very good indeed. Very nice indeed. Through the fire there and, yep. That talent is now under heavy pressure. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Yeah, well, actually, we only need to change them. Fire missiles. Focus fire. No one else has missiles at the ready. Ending the turn. Yeah, that's good. Very good. Yeah. Very nice indeed. Good. I was worried for a moment. All contacts down. Mission complete. Excellent. Thanks, Helena. Ah, but no one got a level. But well, now they, the rookies got their baptism of fire. Of fire and steel. Good job, Albina. Let's have a replay. There we go. And really a nice uh, space station over there. I guess the, the asteroids are hollow or something. Hollowed out. 
and you are there. Well, we did not shoot ourselves there yet. The radar menace is approaching. They are very nice. That was a nice one. So basically, oh yeah, there were two regular guided missiles ahead of the armor piercer, I think. But uh, that went that went pretty efficiently. Very nice. Blew up. Very nice indeed. There we engage the raiders. And there, well, oh, they had interesting. Uh, did we ever see that before? But the raiders had interesting uh, guns in the front. They were they were different from ours. They, but there was some form of space groaning there. Did you hear that? But well, so anyway, good that this nemesis is gone too. And only it knows if there if it went to toaster hell or toaster heaven. There. Our trap for the raiders begins. Or vipers. Flag. I'm not sure if we actually caught them in the flag, but they would have flown into the flag so yeah. Yeah, very good. Very good indeed. Only one. Raider survived this little trap initially. However, they managed to identify us, but that didn't matter anymore. Because then we didn't have any more missiles to shoot. There you go. Another good salvo. There, very nice. That went into the Talon. The only one identified at this moment. Vipers identified the others. However, the Jaguar did immediately switch to radar, to long range radar and identified the targets. But then the missile tubes needed to reload, of course. There. Well, and the Vipers shot up that tail in from all sides again. Yeah, lots of shots hitting our poor Artemis. Yeah, yes, very good, and uh, yeah, 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 well, fortunately the right side had been unscratched so far. And that's a lot of beer for the rookies to donate. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's about time to turn the Artemis around before the Revenant shoot, shoot through our rear armor. And actually they did, they did shoot through very quickly actually. That's always so terrifying how quickly they are. So there we are turning around. All feet, all guns on the Revenant. Yep, they are turning into another sun, a little sun, a temporary sun in the system. Nice. Ah, yeah. Talon is dead in space there. Did you see that? That uh, the, the forward thrust thrust uh, immediately stopped because the engine uh, got a hit there, I guess. However, the engine still burned a bit, but the forward thrust was gone. All right. Oh, and Albina got a new rank. Excellent. We can promote her. So let's proceed. That was good. Very nice indeed. I am happy. We didn't suffer any casualties. That was good. So, and then it is Davis's turn. We are here, but Aya. Oh yeah, and this is the story mission. We are just holding the Cylons off. Let's postpone Carrier this one right now. Orders. Because it is Gisela's job once her fleet has received a little bit more experience, even. This one here. Oh yeah, well, it's their experience, yeah. Seven Tillium to repair them. You guys, 61 Tillium to repair. I wonder why no one is ever jumping into the story mission area. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Tauron is free of Cylons. Well, and things have calmed down again in the other systems. Oh, and we do have a the Mont another Montpellier. Uh, let's call it the Montpellier. So, and by the way, guys, like if you. And you know, by the way, you remember that uh, I am on vacation uh, at the moment of uh, the uh, of this episode going live. Um, but if you have any, uh, oh, 136. Now that was a bit expensive, Albina. But well, that was the uh, oh yeah, that was the shot up meters. Huh? Um, if you if you have any suggestions for uh, ship names, please do say. Please do tell, and we can remain them, uh, rename them. No uh, problem at all. So I'd like this fleet here to have a battle star, though. But we do need Constance. We do need. Um. Well, we could, we could actually we could just jump. Uh, the battle star over there. And then we just lose one frigate for a while, I guess. That would probably be better. That is that. Let's jump like the Anamide uh, Detacher, like this. So, there you go. The Anamide. And let's jump her back here. There. And then you guys. Um, you can actually go to Canceron because then we also get this one fortified. Let's jump to Canceron. And that means that the Montpellier Pellier, uh, can also jump there. Although, uh, I was actually thinking that we could have the carrier here as part of the Daedalus group. Because we are very static here anyway. And then the big carrier will just stand in front of the Daedalus. Yeah. I think that might be a good idea, actually. Let's do that. And then once we have enough carriers, uh, we can uh, we can circle the fleet around again. Let's do that. So the let's say the Chthonius, that's the Thatcher. And then we take the Montpellier here, which immediately makes oh no, it's just six thousand five hundred now. But yeah, it is certainly interesting. Viper MK2. And let's have a sweeper. And then the Chthonius. Oh, needs to recharge for 20 more Tillium. Okay, well, let's wait then. Um, and here. You guys need to recharge. You guys need to recharge and repair. There's this fleet here, 266. Cylon fleet 266. That's this one here, 6500. I think they are growing, aren't they? Hmm. If left unchecked, they will unchecked, they will grow. You guys could actually jump back to Zeus and hunt Cylons. I think that would probably be a good idea. But then someone will jump back at Tauron. But I mean, it's the best we can do, actually. Probably. Yeah, no, they, I mean, they will immediately jump to Tauron. So, and what happened here? Oh, yeah. Virgon has become even steadfaster. That's actually good. And we have an income of 438 again. The governor of PyCon is requesting intervention. 
Captain of Onsen is requesting emergency repair and we have received a letter of recommendation regarding Albina. Yeah, good. So Albina. Albina, where are you? There. Very nice indeed. And you get the command points. There you go. Ah, that's Constance, yeah. Where's Albina? Like it was here, right? No, that's Brandon. That's Madalena. That's Hope Sweet. Eh? No. Ah, yeah, here, Albina. Okay, ah, that's fine. She's got all these... Yeah, yeah, here. She's got all the... Uh, all the... Uh, Corvettes. The Manticore Corvettes. Okay, yeah. I think we can just uh, hold positions otherwise. Here we strengthen these ones. That's actually good enough. Or we can actually uh, give Constance a promotion. How much would that be? I know I, I didn't want to do that and I still don't really. But then this fleet would be pretty good anyway. Ah, no, we, she needs like two level ups, right? 700. Because with the next one, I guess we would have to increase the command. Oh, no, this one. Yeah, well, why didn't she have the XP gains yet? Hmm, and we have 3100. Yeah, let's do like next turn when this one is here. Not ideal because we should do that here on Scorpia because it's the the office of the military planet. But on the other hand, we shouldn't be too greedy with the points. Okay, so otherwise I think everything is fine. Let's see if the Daedalus will ever be attacked actually. I would like to see the carrier in action, but I think the carrier is also safest actually with the Daedalus group at this point. With the additional two squadrons from the Daedalus. So let's see. Oh, and there's someone here, by the way. Uh, and you guys are still. Yeah, that is Jody. You guys are still. charging up, but we could actually jump you now. You guys are at seven. You are also at 7 now. Did I just uh, mess up something? I think so, huh? I would actually know. We wanted to replace someone, right? Yeah, we wanted to replace one of the Corvettes here. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. So, you guys, well, for 10 Tillium, let's jump you now. We jump here to Virgon. Confirming jump. And this might even motivate the Cylons to do something there to get out of the system. So otherwise we only have one elite Cylon force, which is actually good because we are engaging them now. Unless they are jumping away, which I doubt. So it will be Heimerich's pleasure to dispatch them. Okay, so I think that is all for the moment. Ending the turn. Oh yeah. Base star group has been detected. Oh yeah. Cylon escort group oh. has been detected. Battle star group yeah. is engaging hostiles. Okay. Okay. So actually, Tauron is under threat again, and this time by two fleets, but that's fine. Okay, good. So and that is yeah. So Heimerich is actually starting the thing against this very strong fleet. Let's see what how that goes. We do have the Albany to be, uh, to get elite status. But what happens there, my dear fellow tacticians and strategists, we will see in the next episode. Thanks for watching. And if you have any thoughts or feelings to share, any tips and tricks, please do so in the comment section. As always, you know, you're very welcome to do so. And I would appreciate it greatly if you click the like button and sub the subscription button. If you like this episode just a little bit. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.